Welcome to the Ghana Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. If you got a question, hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social media sites. That will be down in the description below. And so today we're going to be talking about exerting too much energy as you draw. Now, uh, some of the reasons why exerting too much energy as you draw can not be so beneficial is that as you're drawing, you're going to eventually burn out. And as you burn out, that will lead to a, a decrease in the production time of how long it takes to uh, produce the artwork. And as you're drawing, you're going to eventually wither away until you're really tired to the point that your performance levels are not so well. They aren't a hundred percent. They aren't at a hundred percent. So you'll so as you're uh, drawing, it'll wither away to, uh, for example, it'll slowly decrease to fifty percent to forty percent, and then the uh, performance, your art, will also match be a reflection of your performance due to that burning out. And so there are many reasons why you may exert so much mental energy or energy in general while we're drawing. For one, it could be due to stress or it can be due to a, a, a silly habit. For example, my habit is when I'm usually focused as I draw, I tend to bite down on my tongue a lot and I feel that that exerts so much uh, energy that I eventually get tired and I get a headache as I go on. So what I did to, uh, you know, fix the silly habit of mine was find a, uh, a toothpick or so or something to uh, chew on in my mouth to prevent myself from biting on my tongue. And that has definitely uh, improved my, uh, my capabilities to continue within the art. And to get scientific on you guys, uh, when you're doing a, a heavy mental task, such as uh, drawing, now it could also be an emotional task, but when you're doing a, a task like that, uh, your body tends to exert a chemical called glucose, and that's uh, used in brain cells. And so some foods that have uh, a high amount of glucose can be uh, some fruits, for example, uh, bananas, grapes, mangoes, etc., uh, rice, some bread. All that healthy eating foods can have a great capacity to prolong your drawing and decrease the amount of exerted energy that you're showing in your drawing and in and in other and in addition another thing that can help you guys is uh, taking uh, a few just 10 to 20 minute breaks as you're drawing so you may feel a bit tired you know you may feel that your energy is being drained so you know replenish that energy by taking a break taking so it's really about working smart as opposed to working hard and working hard can be a really stressful and exerting task for people and now another thing that a lot of people do is uh listening to music now listening to music that's a very uh murky territory there have been some studies that have shown that listening to music can uh it makes the brain focus on two things at once for example when you're drawing and then when you're listening to music you're exerting a lot more energy listening to both things but at the same time there have also been some studies that has shown that some music help people to uh, perform better within their uh, artwork so that's really dependent that's really dependent on the person uh, for me the type of music that I listen to, I don't listen to anything that's heavy with lyrics. I tend to gravitate more so towards in instrumentals. And I've also had some days in which I didn't want to listen to any music whatsoever. I found out that me focusing on the art piece without listening to music has increased my productivity. But at the same time, I've also had my days where I have listened to music and it has worked for me at times and it hasn't worked for me at times so you know i'm on and off with, about that but you know whatever works for the person 
And so although I mentioned music, I don't feel that you get the same effects as you're listening to binaural beats. And I did a video on that. You can go check that out. And so when I'm listening to binaural beats, I tend to listen to the the alpha hertz and the how the alpha hertz tend to really calm my mood as I draw. And that will be the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and join the family by clicking the uh, subscribe button below. It's a red color. Um, if you have any suggestions on what I should talk about next, or if you have any questions, uh, leave so in the comments below, or private message private message me through the uh, the uh, other social media sites where I get a lot of my uh, viewer questions and whatnot. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys.